I'm Aaron Fector, and I'm showing you now the parts of the animatronics experimenters kit. After you have it assembled, let's look at the part that everyone wants to see first, and that's the head. The head will have a mask that you'll paint yourself. So when you get the kit from me, it's unpainted. You paint it yourself, and I'll show you how I did mine in a few minutes. And you'll get the mechanisms necessary to build the internal components to make your head talk. And you'll get the components necessary to build this handy dandy little control system. These modules will come fully assembled. You just plug them into the, into the sockets and you wire the insides. I'll show you how to do that as well. You're going to get a doorbell button. Now this is my favorite kind of doorbell button. This is the kind I've been using for 30 years. However, I have not been able to find this kind of doorbell button. I guess they took it off the market. Possibly, possibly caused some injuries or uh, maybe um, malfunctioned in some doors or something. But anyway, you cannot find this doorbell button anymore. I haven't been able to. If you find this doorbell button, please let me know. I really want to use these doorbell buttons. So I'll use a more modern doorbell button. I'll put it in with your kit. You can test it out, but you may want to experiment with what kind of button you use to program your audio animatronic talking head with. Uh, you'll also have a valve. This is a four-way valve that's used to connect to the air cylinder that's, that's inside your head. And the valve, of course, connects to the control system. And there are hoses that come off the valve. And I'll tell you where those connect to in a minute. And you'll have some power supplies. There'll be two power supplies that come with your kit, a 5-volt power supply and a 12-volt power supply. The 12-volt supply will run the valve, and the 5-volt power supply will run the electronics. That's pretty typical. Now, there are a couple of things that you're going to supply yourself. A jar and some foam rubber. A couple of these hoses are going to go down in the jar with foam rubber. Can anybody tell me why? You'll find out. And there's something else. In the initial experiments, I'm going to be using the stereo tape deck. It's a cassette stereo tape deck. It's a very handy device to use to experiment with the talking head, at least initially. And I'll also show you how to use a PC instead of a stereo cassette deck, where we can actually get down and do some, some pretty interesting programming. So you're going to supply the, the, uh, either the PC or the stereo cassette deck, the jar, the foam rubber, and a source of air, compressed air. That'll be on your side too. Small air compressor will do just fine. So um, I'll hook all this stuff up now for you. And we're going to take this thing out for a spin. And I'm going to show you some fun things you can do with it. After that, I'll show you how to put your kits together. Okay, your head, your electronic control system. I'll show you how to use it, how to have some fun with it. And I'll even show you how I came up with the design. For example, the design of the mechanism that runs the mouth. I'll take you step by step how I did that and how I found the parts because you're going to want to design some of your own stuff. And I guess if you see kind of what I went through to put this design together, it'll help you make decisions in the character that you build in the future. But this is actually the way I started. This is the way I started in 1976. Before I built the Rocket Fire Explosion, there was a single talking head with a single talking mouth. And these exact modules are the ones I used. So these are a good, a good way for you to start. And when I say these exact modules, I mean these exact modules. I still got a box of them down in the basement and I'm going to send you these modules with your kits. Of course, when I run out of the modules from 1976, I'll start making more of these. And, uh, and as you advance to a larger character with more movements, then you'll need a more advanced control system. But really, these modules are the way to go for your first animatronic experiments. So, I'm going to wire it up. And uh, basically, I'm going to hook up the hose to air pressure. And I'm going to get my cassette deck and hook up the inputs and the outputs to the audio tracks. And we're going to do some we're going to do some experiments with our talking head. Hey,